Uh-oh, guys, AMC's numbers just came out and their stock's all over the place. We have a lot to go over in this video. We're going to break down the actual earnings release. We'll break down the financials. And of course, like we always do, we'll break down the charts here and talk about what I'm doing with the stock. Am I buying it? Am I selling it? Am I holding AMC stock? So jam pack video. If you find value, all I ask from you is to hit that like button and to subscribe. We're so close to 30,000 subs, guys, and that's the goal here in the short term. So make sure to subscribe. And with that being said, cheers. Let's dive right into it. So check it out. It's currently around what time is it about 11 15 a.m when i'm making this video and their stock is down a little bit actually no now it's at break even it was down a little bit earlier in the day it was at 566 when the markets opened about 10 minutes into the session we got down to 566 and that's after the stock shot up to six dollars and 20 cents when the numbers initially came out and you guys can see we closed at where was it five dollars and 90 ish cents yesterday so at one point in the pre-market when the numbers came out and the stock shot the $6.20. It was up 4%. And then again, it dumped down to 566. So all that gain was lost. In fact, we actually went down around 9% from 620 to 566. But the good sign here for the bulls is on the intraday chart, at least, we got a double bottom. You guys see right here, first bottom, second bottom. Then we ended up breaking back over the 50 SMA. We took out the uh, the highs from earlier in the session being about 595, six bucks. We broke out of that point we hit 604 now we're uh now we're wrestling with 595 six dollars yet again now we're trying to hold that older resistance from earlier in the day as support you guys can see that right now we're trying to uh you know fight back over that 180 SMA. maybe we take out that you know intraday high being around 603 604 so i'm gonna set my alert right now at 605 mark is out or above and we'll see if it breaks out of that high from around 10 45 a.m here on the east coast and if it does on the intraday chart here guys this could be making a move towards six dollars and 20 cents and before we break down the charts even more let's take a look at these numbers so they ended up doing adjusted EPS of negative 13 cents, which beat the negative 16 cent estimate. That's great. And sales also beat 954 million versus, let's see, 940 million estimated. So they beat EPS and they beat on revenue. And when it comes down to, uh, I think Adam Aaron said something here. Adam Aaron said, where the heck is it here? I think it was the best quarter. It was the um, Q1 results represent strongest first quarter in four full years. That's a very good sign, guys. They're heading in the right direction. As again, like I said, we saw the stock rally about 2.9% on the pre-market, but then again, we ended up dumping at the close. So right now in the short term, guys, you know, we're, we're looking at 605. At least that's what I'm looking at. Again, if we break out of that point, we could be making a move to that 620 level from the pre-market. So let me actually shift over here, guys, now to the Safari tab so we can break down the actual earnings release. We'll talk about some key financial highlights and we'll run through through some of these numbers. Bear with me. And by the way, if you're finding value, hit that like button. And of course, make sure to subscribe. I appreciate you all as always. So what we're looking at here, guys, is the uh, the summary first quarter 2023 compared to first quarter 2022. So total revenues, are you ready for this, guys? Grew 21.5% to $954.4 million on the quarter, which is great considering, of course, we saw a decline in revenue for, uh, for quite some time on AMC for AMC. Now we're starting to see some growth year over year again, 21.5%. You can't you can't complain about that. And net loss improved by 101.9 million dollars to now 230 uh, 35.5 million. Or actually I read that wrong. Net loss improved by 101.9 million to 235 0.5 million. So they're still losing money, of course, but not nearly as bad as it once was, which makes sense. We were just in a pandemic. Everything was shut down. No, no one was going to theaters. Now people are going to theaters again. It makes sense. This is not rocket science, right? An adjusted net loss was 179.7 million compared to an adjusted net loss of 266 million roughly a year ago. So that's good. And diluted loss per share was 17 cents compared to last year's 33 cents. That's good as well well and adjusted diluted loss per share was 13 cents compared to adjusted diluted loss per share of 26 cents a year ago that is very very good and adjusted EBITDA improved by 68.8 million dollars to now 7.1 million that's pretty good and net cash used in operating activities for 
the quarter was $189.9 million. Non-GAAP operating cash burn for the quarter was $139.4 million compared to $223.9 million. So there's no doubt about it, guys. Compared to last year's numbers, AMC is improving in pretty much all uh, on all measures, right? In terms of adjusted EBITDA, diluted loss per share, total revenues, net loss, everything's pretty much improving. Sure, they're still losing money, but everything's doing well year over year. And we had a lot of good movies in the first quarter. I, I didn't see pretty much any of these, but well, I kind of do want to see Creed 3. I don't know why I haven't seen that yet, but we had Quantumania. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, Ant-Man's and the Wasp uh, Quantumania. All right. I didn't see that either. Creed 3. I want to see that. We had Scream. We had Shazam, Fury of the Gods, John Wick Chapter 4. I also want to see that. Um, let me see here. What else? The first quarter North American box office easily su uh, surpassed 2022 by some 29% totaling more than $1.7 billion. That's great. And of course, guys, it all comes down to what movies are actually being released. And as long as there's really good movies, box office hits being uh, produced, I think people, more and more people are going to go to theaters. I don't think theaters are completely dead. Maybe some of you guys will disagree with me. I think there's still going to be um, life for AMC and theaters in general. Sure, it might not be AMC in 5, 10 years from now. They, they might go out of business for all we know. But in general, movie theaters are definitely going to be a thing. And uh, I don't know. Disagree with me in the comments if you guys disagree. So let's see. Aaron said, we believe the first quarter of 2023 is just the tip of the iceberg for what's to come in the remainder of the year. To that end, the second quarter of 2023 has already begun with notable success of the Super Mario Brothers movie. I saw that. I thought it was pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm, um, I'm a fan of that one. With uh, so many compelling movies coming just in the next few months, like Guardians of the Galaxy, that's going to be a big one. The Little Mermaid. I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. I might see that as well. <laughs> um, I don't know. My, my, my fiance might, uh, might, might drag me to that one. Elemental, Fast X, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, The Flash, I like The Flash, Indiana Jones, and The Dial of Destiny, I'm definitely seeing that. Mission Impossible, maybe, I don't know, Oppenheimer, Blue Beetle, Gran Turismo, Haunted Mansion, About My Father, and the list here goes on, guys. So a lot of movies coming out over the next couple of uh, months, for sure. And coming down a little bit more here, let's see, let me see the balance sheet, guys. You, you know me, I like looking at the balance sheet, for sure, it's definitely um, an, an important part of the financials. So right now, as of March 31st, 2023, you guys can see right here, cash and cash, uh, cash and uh, <laughs> if I can even talk, cash and cash equivalents for AMC, and I'm, I'm assuming these are in millions, right? Yep, 495 million dollars in cash and cash equivalents that's less than what they had in the uh, in the last quarter corporate bo uh, borrowings 4.8 billion dollars last quarter it was 5.1 billion other long term liabilities 104 million all right that's pretty much right in line with the 105 from last quarter let's see what their total assets are 8.8 .8 billion dollars not too bad there let's come down a little bit more this is interesting to look at here guys this shows you that attendance has gone up a ton from the quarter ended 2022 march 31st to quarter ended uh, march 31st 2023 look at attendance guys the last line here literally right above my face we have 47.6 million people in attendance. Well, yeah, this is in thousands. So yeah, 47 million, roughly almost 40, uh, 48 versus last year, 39 million. The proof is in the data, guys. People are still going to movie theaters and uh, it's, it's about eight, nine, almost, yeah, almost 9 million more people than last year. And I'm sure that's a lot more than what it was the year before and the year before that. And screens per theater, still the same around 11.2 Number of theaters operated, they close about, I believe, 18, so 19, uh, yeah, yeah, from 920 or 938 rather last year to now 920 theaters operated. Looks like here they closed four theaters last year, they closed 12, so okay, they're not, I mean, they're not opening, um, you know, a bunch of theaters. Makes sense. There's so many in existence. They're just trying to pack the ones that are already in existence. Makes a lot of sense there um, to me. And if we come down a little bit more here, guys, let's see. Is there anything else worth talking about? Of course, there's a lot worth talking about. I might have to make a part two to this video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a part two. But this breaks down 
revenues in the U.S., international markets, consolidated, you guys can see. And, of course, most of their revenues come from the U.S., a good chunk, about, uh, you know, 75% or 70%, whatever that is. And, you know, we can see a lot of capital expenditures in the U.S. markets, of course, and international markets coming down here a little bit more. Let's see, is there anything else worth talking about? Uh, give me a second here, guys. But overall, look, their, um, their, their attendance is growing. That's one thing that I'm very, very happy with. You can see attendance here. We talked about the U.S. markets, but also internationally, maybe not as much as the U.S. markets in terms of growth year over year, but still, Compared to 2022, internationally and in the U.S., we're seeing more patrons coming into AMC theaters, which is great. We want to see that continue to be the case, fundamentally speaking here, uh, because without that, if we're seeing a decline in patrons year over year, that is not going to be what we want. And let me know in the comments, guys, if you want me to do a part two, I'm willing to do that. And now let's break down the charts a little bit more. But before we actually do, don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Mumu, which is free money link down below. Once you guys open up an account, you get one free share of stock right off the bat. And guys, listen, if you deposit at least a hundred bucks, you get four more stocks totaling five free shares of stock. And if you deposit at least a thousand bucks, are you ready for this? You get 10 more stocks totaling 15 free stocks. And of course that link helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys as always. And if you don't like the Moomoo platform, which you might not like it, I mean, you, you, you don't like everything in life, but if you don't like the Moomoo platform, you can simply take out your, uh, your money. You keep all the free stocks no strings attached and again it also helps out the channel i appreciate you guys as always so use that link down below and with that being said let's take a look at amc stock chart yet again and now we're starting to break out of these moving averages on the intraday chart and we're getting very close to that 605 level that uh th that, that my alert set which again was the high from around 10 45 a.m here on the east coast i'm telling you guys if that level breaks we can see a lot more upside on amc and this can start moving let's pull the four hour up towards the highs from back in february like i've mentioned 675 670 660 that's where this could be going initially then if that were to break yes you heard it here first maybe not i don't know but i'm I'm going to tell you right now, $8, 850 that's where this could be going after that. So I'm a big fan of AMC stock chart right now looking very bullish. Their earnings were solid and, you know, they're, they're growing year over year. Revenue's growing. More and more people are going to theaters and the trend is uh, slowly starting to turn. And no, I'm not saying AMC is going to be a $100 billion market cap now because, you, you know, the trend's starting to slow. But I don't know. I don't think they're going to go bankrupt anymore. I mean, I could be wrong. Sure, I, I could be wrong. I mean, they might go bankrupt. Never say never, but I think they're really starting to dig themselves out of the hole and things are looking bright. The future's looking bright for AMC. I could be crazy. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, but that's what I'm thinking. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe as well. And don't forget to get all your free stocks down below. You could also get 12 stocks from Weeble. It's free money, guys. And again, the 15 stocks from Moomoo, all of those are down below. And check out the Patreon. If you guys are interested, if you want to see my moves throughout the day, charts and ideas, you want to see my Patreon portfolio, be a part of the Discord chat, all of that is on Patreon down below, or you can just join the YouTube channel membership, whatever works for you. And with that being said, cheers guys. I'll catch you in the next video.